Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and it's that time again, I just got a package in the mail from LEGO, and as you can tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, inside this box are the January 2024 Ninjago sets. We got official images of these a few days ago, and I actually got to see some of them in hand when I visited Denmark, I actually made a whole video about that, I'll put a card in the top right corner if you haven't seen that yet, but this will be my first time seeing these boxes in hand, so I am very much looking forward to this. Unfortunately, it's not a surprise, I have already seen the sets, but without further ado, let's just pop this box open. Alright, I already have a little peek of it, so let's crack the box open and see what's in here. Oh, yep, already you can see that is lots of Ninjago stuff. I'll try to show all the sides of the boxes too, because you can see there's different ninja suits on them. So I guess we'll start with this one at the top right here. I believe this is the biggest set of the wave. We have Egalt the Master Dragon. This might be the one that I'm the most excited for. I don't know. I do really like some of the smaller sets. But Egalt just seems like such a cool character. This is going to be a dragon that's a mentor to the characters in the show. That's just such a fun idea. We have the new Master of Smoke too in the set, Cinder. As well as the Gong of Shattering, which is apparently important. That's what Roz is going to use to command his army. The giant sword too, the dragon can hold in its tail. And this image is very good. Here's a good look at the Lloyd art in the side of the box. That looks like a really cool set. Ooh, I love the red on it. Have we ever seen red on Lloyd before? I don't know. But red and green, that's a great color combination. Very Christmassy. <laughs> But yeah, I'm incredibly excited for this one. This looks like a great set. And that's the only, like, big set of the wave, but we have a few smaller things, so I guess I'll grab this one next. Oh, and this one I'm super excited for, Sora's Elemental Tech Mech. I just love Sora's color scheme. It's so unique, it's just the white and the dark blue and the coral. And I love that we're getting similar style mechs for so many of the ninja. Because, yeah, in case you missed it, all the mechs can combine and swap around, which I'll definitely be doing in my videos. Sora does not have new art. It's the same one from Season 1. But really cool set. I really like the pink spinning blade on the one side, too. Next, I'll grab this set. And this is, of course, another one of the mechs and this one probably is my favorite it's cole's elemental earth mech and this one's like shorter but it's also bulkier and it's got like cole's lava arms on the mech and yeah once again back of the box just shows you how to combine them and funnily enough kai is on the side of this box not cole that's a shame that he doesn't have official art and then finally i think this is the last big set and then we have a bunch of really small ones but this is kai's elemental fire mech i'm really excited for this one because it has both zane and jordana zane i'm excited for because it's zane he's my favorite ninja and i think this suit looks really cool for him but then jordana is just a character i never expected to get a physical minifigure of, and I'm really looking forward to just seeing that one in hand. This new Kai suit looks really cool too. Like, look how nice the orange and the red are combined. Of course, same back to this box, and same Kai image on the side. And then coming back to the box, if I take this paper out of here, we have five more sets, all of which I believe are 10 or $11 retail. So I guess we'll do the actual sets first. This one has the bigger box. This one might be more than 10, I actually don't remember. But yeah, we have Eren's Battle Mech, and this one... <laughs> I don't know. It's a 4 plus Mac, and I try not to be too hard on 4 plus sets, but I'm not gonna lie, this one, this one doesn't look the best. We'll see if that changes once I get it built up, but yeah, I don't have super high hopes for this one. Kind of interesting, it seems like it has dark green Evo joints that might just be the lighting, but I don't know, it seems like dark green. Which, that is a very cool part to get, if so. And I do like some of these parts over here, like that trans purple. And then it also comes with the gong of shattering. But yeah, I don't know, we'll have to see on this one. And then finally, the smallest actual set. We have Jay's Mech Battle Pack, which I'm very mixed on this one. The actual J Mech, I'm not super crazy about. Again, I could like it better once getting it built up. But I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of like the Marvel Mech Clamshell piece. That being said, four minifigures in a $10 set's pretty amazing. And most importantly, this comes with the Master Lloyd minifigure, who looks really cool. I'm excited to see that minifigure in hand. And getting two villains here is pretty nice too. So if you wanted to army build this set for some reason, you definitely could. It's probably one of the cheaper ways to get like a ton of the villains. Once again, Kai on the art for this one. Weird that's not even Lloyd, because we do have Lloyd art, and Lloyd's in this set, but nope, it's still Kai on the side. But yeah, not the set I'm most excited for, though that Master Lloyd figure is definitely very cool. And then finally, we have the three gimmick sets. So I'll start with Kai. We have Kai's Rising Dragon Strike. It comes with a villain minifigure, which is nice. I appreciate that. But it looks like you hit the dragon on the back of the tail and it sort of launches at the enemy. I'm excited for these new hood pieces. They seem pretty cool. Cool. And then the armor is just the same as the mech suits. Then we have a gimmick for Nia, interestingly, because Nia never gets gimmick sets. But hey, I mean, I'm happy to see it. Nia's Rising Dragon Strike. And once again, same play feature with that, though a slightly different villain. And then finally, we have the very last set, Aaron's Rising Dragon Strike, which I love that Aaron's getting a gimmick because, of course, he's one of the newest ninja. So it's cool to have him in a super cheap set that's all themed around him. That being said, I think this minifigure looks awful, terrible, atrocious. Like, what is going on here? This is just his normal ninja suit. He doesn't even get a new one like the other ninja have. And I just feel like that new hood piece does not work with the old ninja suit at all. I really wish he got, like, a new print here that was armored just like the rest of the ninja have. So, yeah, that's very disappointing to see. Like, this feels like it should be a magazine gift. It does not feel like these pieces are meant to go together. But hopefully, maybe later in the year, he'll get something new. I don't know, man. But I'm really not feeling that. That being said, the rest of the set looks fun. Seems to be the same gimmick as the other two. But, hey, I like the colors. The bright orange and the green looks really nice. So, yeah, that's that set. 
And before I line all this sets up and give you my thoughts on the wave overall, I do have one more box to open. This is not Ninjago, it's just something else that arrived from LEGO today, and it's only one set, so I don't want to make another video just for that. So I suppose I'll open it here in this video. So taking a look inside, we have a bit of packing material. But then also, of course, underneath it all, we have a new LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog set. Knuckles Guardian Mech. I know we have a lot of LEGO Sonic fans in the audience, so I am very excited for this one. Let me know if there's anything specific you guys want to see in the review. I'm very excited for both of the minifigures in this set. Knuckles especially looks amazing. Really excited to see, like, those new glove pieces for him. And there's how the back of that set looks. It's actually a pretty decently sized mech. Seems fairly solid overall. But anyway, back to Ninjago, here is all the January 2024 Ninjago sets. Obviously a bit of a smaller wave, both in terms of like number of sets and also just the size of the sets. But personally, I don't think that's a bad thing. I really like small sets. And I especially love how, like, connected all of these are. The ninja have the new mech suits and mechs to go with those mech suits. We've got three new gimmick sets, a new battle pack that comes with Master Lloyd, new villains in Jordana and Cinder. Like, I know it's a smaller wave, but there's still genuinely a lot to be excited by here. And then we have another wave in March, and then theoretically another wave in the summer. So honestly, I think this is a great start to the year. But now what's up to you guys? Let me know in the comments which set you want to see reviewed first. And if there's anything specific you want to see in those reviews. As always, these were gifted to me by LEGO, so I have to follow their rules. So I can't post my reviews of these sets until they let me. That being said, as soon as I can post the reviews, I promise I will, but you guys might have to wait a little bit for them. In the meantime, though, if you want to see some of these sets in hand, you can go check out my video where I got to see them in Denmark, but as for this one, I think that's about all I have to say. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!